Evening guys. So as the video says, I am coming on to do a live about, um, in response basically to a video that was done a couple of days ago by an online coach um, referring to a group that I um, set up and also myself. So I'm gonna let people join here and then we can get kicked off properly. Um, and yeah, hopefully this will be just nice and calm. And uh, yeah, I'll try and stay calm. Right, everyone, come and say hello, whoever's on. Hiya, hi Kelly. Um, yes, so, as you know, there was a video done um, a couple of days ago, and um, I'm given time for uh, that certain online coach to get on, because I'm sure all the admins, etc. now are <laughs> messaging at the moment. But yeah, I feel that I, I have to respond now, and you can take it however you like it. Hi Sinead, you can take it however, this is just going to be the absolute truth, because you didn't get the total truth from that last live. Um, and I need to kind of kind of clear everything up because A, I am a single mom with a professional job. Hi, Victoria. And a lot of the things or some of the things, the way they were said in that live were said in a general sense, right? But um, it was basically throwing a whole pile of mud at a big group of people and letting it stick, right? And unfortunately, like, I don't want my professional um, reputation um, tarnished in any way by that online coach, right? So some of the comments that were said in that live, such as all ex-members or all ex-affiliates were mentally unstable, were either drinking or had a drugs problem. Absolute horse load of shit, guys, and certainly not true in my case and the majority of other people there right so I have to clear that up because I do have a, a you know a pretty serious job and I can't have that those accusations floating around there hi Rachel hi Denise so definitely did not apply to me and 99% of the other people okay the other things that I and I, I will address these right the other thing was um referring to the online group that I set up as a hate group when actually it is like 1300 people from all different uh, diets doesn't matter what diet we're on we're all in there helping each other um and like yeah just having like those 1300 people branded as spreading hate and slagging people off and all and I'll get to that but in general saying all of that no problem shell um in general saying all of that you're branding them like completely incorrectly, okay? Which totally is not fair at all when you're saying that out to the amount of people that follow that particular online coach, completely uncalled for, okay? Um, the other things, um, well, I'll go on to the right. So I'm gonna explain my side of things. So for those of you who don't know, I was an affiliate with um, that particular company. Um, and I was an affiliate, I was very one of the very first ones. I was in the elite group, so it wasn't like I was someone trying to get in. I was already in the elite group, because I know that was referred to as some people were trying to get in and they hadn't reached the perfect, you know, a certain quality and all that. I was doing videos into the private coaching group as well, okay? A lot of the comments that I saw on that live were saying that like I was jealous and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to put all of that to bed quite simply, all right? Um, okay, so I've written some notes just so, and I apologize if I get the timelines mixed up on this. But right, so the free recipe group that is attached to that online group. So that was set up and we have like a private, uh, an elite group for the affiliates, for the top affiliates. And um, in that, when that uh, recipe group was set up, we were told that another group was going to be, another private group was going to be set up and people were pre-chosen, like the affiliates were pre-chosen to go into that top tier group, okay? And they would be doing the, the, the cooking recipes and all that kind of thing. Now I name, I put my hand up and said, I'm, I'm not gonna join that because like, I honestly, I have a full-time job, I'm a single mom, I don't have time to be doing all of that, right? Which was cool. But I suggested rather than creating another tier of like, you know, we were all friends, whatever. So creating rather than creating another tier, because the other people, sorry, the other people left in the main um, elite group were told if you get up to, if you prove yourselves and get up to the next level, 
then you may be brought into that top diamond elite group, right? So we'd already all proved ourselves because we'd been in there for a year, a little over, right? Um, and what you call it? Um, yeah, so what I suggested was, rather than creating another tier, would it not be better, like, if they felt that some people, some affiliates were doing better than the others, could we not do a mentorship rather than splitting them up? Just, like, put one who needed to, to improve with someone who was really doing well and just learn from each other. That didn't go down well, okay? Um, and on the 15th of April, just got the dates as well. On the 15th of April then, um, that online coach came in to the, did a live video in um, our elite group and basically said that he was no longer asking for any of our feedback, did not want any, and it was, it was great at the start because it really was, it was like, look, no one's done this before. None of us have been affiliates. They hadn't set up um, this affiliate group before. So we were all, you know, bouncing off each other with ideas and all the rest of it. But he clarified in that live that didn't want any feedback, which is cool. But he did say to me, like, it, it, and it was aimed at me, and he told me it was aimed at me, um, that he didn't want any of my smarmy, negative comments, blah, -de blah, -de blah, right? So obviously he was having a little meltdown, absolutely cool. And in the comments after that, which I have screenshots of, um, he told me to leave and remove myself from the group, right? Which is what I, I have the screenshots. He deleted that group after, but obviously I, I got in the screenshots before that, right? And that's important, right? Just to note that, that I, he asked me to leave, okay? So um, then the next day, the 16th, uh, we had a couple of messages between myself and the online coach uh, through their main page inbox. And on that, um, it was fine. He was just like, you know, we clash, we don't get on well. So, you know, thanks for everything you've done. And I was like, yeah, thanks for everything, blah, blah, blah. Um, but then he said, um, some of the things that I had put on my page like quotes, and I think one that he was referring to, I'd put a quote, I'd ask, actually, it wasn't a quote, I'd ask other mums what would they do if their kids were getting bullied in school. He obviously took that as a dig towards him, right? And in, in those messages, he said, I don't like the way you are turning this down this nasty road. And I'm like, what the hell is he talking about with the stuff on your page? So I was like, nah, right, I have to set you right there. So we had a couple of messages back and forth and then I actually did three, like a video split into three because we were doing it on the messenger and you know the way you can only keep 60 seconds, right? So I just said, right, I'll just do a video and did a video reply to him, right? In which I got upset because yeah, we were just, and we were talking back and forward about how things were run in, in the affiliate groups and whatever, right? So that was cool. Um, so that was fine. And then, what, it was on 21st of April, right? So a couple of days later, I'd left now, right? Um, yeah, actually, when did I do my video? Uh, 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 uh. Sorry. Yeah, no, on the 21st of April, I did my final review of Teamer H, right? And I will link that in the description below, actually, after this. It's in on my page, right? So if you look, 21st of April, 100% positive, right? So this is after all the conversations with Richie, oh, sorry, with the online coach, right? 100% positive. So for any of you who think that I was jealous or disgruntled or whatever, go and watch that review and bear in mind that I already left, right? And that was my final review on them. And you tell me if that was from a jealous, disgruntled ex-affiliate, because it wasn't, okay? Absolutely praise that plan because it 100% works, right? So that's just a video there so you can go and watch it. Right, on the 21st of April, I got a lovely uh, call from the other, the second online coach, and lovely. Um, and she said she'd just been catching up on some of the messages between myself and the first online coach. Um, and that she, and like she was really, really absolutely lovely, right? And just said that she struggled sometimes with speaking up when she uh, saw stuff that happening or being dealt with in a certain way that she mightn't be so happy about, okay? Um, and that that was something that she was working on to speak up a little bit more and whatever, okay? And she made me an absolute fantastic offer. She said, if you want, I will, t like, I will coach you to get to your goals 100% myself and you don't have to have anything to do with that other coach, right? 
absolute amazing offer now i said i don't have any problems with the other coach that was like you know it is what it is we just had a disagreement on how things were run so that was cool and i just said look can i have two weeks to think about it um, and she was like sure now obviously i've been out of the online coach for the coaching group for for a couple of weeks at that stage right i'd already gone to another coach i just signed up like i wasn't like getting coaching from him or anything but i had joined another online coach uh, just because i'm still going with my weight loss so yeah right so anyway i asked for two weeks and I'll just let everything calm down and all the rest of it during that week i posted a link to um, my protein toffee drops they're like just for flavoring your your greek yogurt or whatever else okay um and then i think that was like midweek and then on the i think the weekend i had posted a quote from jane smith all right so uh literally it was a week after so on the 29th of april so a week after the um the female coach rang me i got a message from the male coach asking if it would be all right to have a video conversation with the two of them okay so i was like yeah cool no bother and little smiley faces all the rest of it right now after i'd obviously gotten the call from the female online coach earlier that or the, the week before I was thinking right this is going to be an apology right because i knew i hadn't done anything wrong it was all you know there was nothing we'd spoken whatever i knew i had done nothing wrong and um, so i was quite happy to take a call from them and we went into it totally not expecting anything right so anyway call came on and it became quickly apparent that it was not going to be a nice call so what was said was that basically the company that they were partnered with, that's, um, and I, I won't name them, okay, the company that they were selling products for, or, you know, related to that way, had seen the post uh, that I'd made of the my protein drops and were fuming, absolutely furious, and that the two online coaches had just had an hour meeting with them and that they, the other company were starting legal proceedings against me and the male online coach had, told, had got them to agree that he could speak to me first to get me to uh, remove the posts and agree to not post anything fitness product related, online fitness like influencer related, any other online fitness guru or whatever, no problem. Um, yeah, uh, for a period of about 12, 12 months, right? And I'm like, well, hold on, I, I don't have a, con a contract with the other company. And oh, no, 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 there's like this other company, like there's a third company in the middle and whatever, right? But anyway, he said, you've got, you need to tell me now that you're not going to do that. And I was like, but you asked me to leave, so I'm not in contract. And he was like, no, 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 da, da, whatever, right? Kept going on and caught on. Now, just to tell you, this whole call was 48 minutes, 43 seconds long. Okay, so it wasn't a short call. Towards the middle of the call, I just kept repeating, I'm going to go and get legal advice because I knew I wasn't in contract, but I was like, I'll go and get legal advice. I'll go and get legal advice. And he got more and more threatening. Okay, to which I started, I got upset, started crying. And I said, you're threatening me now. At which point the female um, coach grabbed the male coach by the arm to stop him and she started taking over the conversation a little bit just for a little while and then he came back on and he was like I'm trying to do my best for you I'm trying to do my best for you you know these are going to come after you they're not messing they are serious they are coming after you like fun. and obviously me as a single mom thinking what the fuck right so um anyway it went on and on and on and I just said I will go and seek legal advice and I'll get back to you. Right, so that, that he, he just said, right, I have to block all communication. Um, that's it now, I can't help you anymore. They're, go they're coming after you, so you'll get something in the post or whatever else, all right? So, um, yes, so then what happened? Um, yes, the call, right. So, after that then, I got a cease and desist letter in the post from the online company no oh yeah sorry the day after the day after i had that call funnily enough one of the ceos of that other related company followed me on instagram okay and i messaged that guy and i said considering that you're starting legal proceedings against me i don't think you you know i i think all communication should now be taken off social media all right um that guy 
messaged me back and said, what, what do you mean? Um, what legal? And I said, oh, well, you know, I gave him the details of the video, uh, the video call that I'd had with the two online coaches. And I said, oh, well, you're starting legal proceedings against me. And he was like, I don't know anything about that. There was no hour meeting. He said, I didn't even know you'd left the program. Absolutely not a clue, right? So he said, did the, on, the male online coach actually specifically use our name? And I was like, yes. And he goes, right, leave it with me. That'll get sorted, right? So I knew then that they'd completely lied about the other company, completely lied. Um, and yeah, that really upset me that they were, like, were going to threaten me in that way and not even under their own name that they were actually you blaming it on somebody else, right? Absolutely, like how low can you go, seriously? Um, and then, um, I had obviously because I was out, I had set up my, my, my own group because I, I wasn't in contract, right? So I, one of the rules when you were an affiliate is that you weren't allowed to set up your, any, uh, groups so that you couldn't grow your online following, right? They wanted it or specifically, you know, you could have your page, but no private messages. People weren't allowed to message your page, no groups. Okay. So obviously because I wasn't in it anymore, it's like, oh, now I can do what I want and I can put what I want on my page and I can start a group. So I started a group, okay? In the meantime, two employees walked out of that online company um, and you can ask them why, but I was told it was down to just unhappiness about some of the practices that were, sorry, my phone, let's hope my battery doesn't go. Some of the, um, e yeah, um, some of the practices that were going on there that they weren't happy with seeing, okay? So, um, obviously when that got out, people started, um, yeah, oh, actually, sorry. So I started the group, load of people started joining. I got then a message from somebody that evening saying, the male online coach has just started up a private group and he's inviting the membership that had joined my group of like the team or like of the online group who joined my group he was inviting them into a private group okay um sorry guys i'm gonna actually have to just plug out hold on hopefully this doesn't uh, die um yeah so uh what was I saying yes so i got a message saying that he was playing the, uh, he had recorded me. So that video call where I got upset for the 48 minutes, they had recorded that call without my consent. So I didn't know it was recorded. Okay. They then took a nine minute section out of that 48 minute call and played that to the 28 people that he'd invited in there before I caught that that's what he was doing. And I closed the membership of my group secret so he couldn't find out the members anymore. Now, in that group, he said that was him giving his side of the story um, and basically made out that I was, oops, sorry. Oh God, this is gonna die. Ah, hold on. I'm gonna plug out my microphone, but you'll still be able to hear me. Uh, I'll just plug in the charger properly then, hold on. Um, yeah, so he told them that it was, sorry now. E there, we then. Right, so he told them that it, it was him giving his side of the story, that I had broken contract. Um, and the bit he played in the middle was the bit where he wasn't threatening me. He hadn't mentioned the other company that was starting legal proceedings against me and I hadn't started getting upset yet, right? Um, so a very, very small snapshot. Obviously, some of the people in there said they didn't want to be involved in it. Other people said, oh, like agreed with him and that I was whatever and whatever. Cool, right? When I heard that that was set up, I went onto my page and I immediately said, online coach, remove that. Like that is a break in the law, playing a video of me in there. Total break in the law, remove it straight away. And at the end of that comment, I said to the female online coach, remember what you said to me in that call that we had, as in that she was working on standing up when she saw something being dealt with incorrectly, um, that I hope she got the strength to do that, right? Put that up. I got a message from a male affiliate straight away going, why are you bringing their relationship into it? Like how low is that, right? I hadn't mentioned anyone's relationship. 
Then another affiliate came on going, where are you, like, why are you talking about domestic abuse? Had I messaged, had I like even mentioned domestic abuse? No, that was her jumping to conclusions because she wasn't part of the conversation that I had with the female online coach, right? So obviously all of that stuff getting out, making me look like a complete and utter bitch, right? When I hadn't said anything, that's what they come up with, okay? So that's cleared and end off. Um, yes, so after I, after that, right, so obviously I got screenshots of the people who were invited to that group um, and he'd actually invited uh, quite a close friend of mine into that group, not realising that was in, that she was a friend, right? So I have all the screenshots, um, which is going to my solicitor, by the way, because um, it's, it's totally against the law, right? Um, and uh, what am I saying? Right, so he did the group oh yeah okay so obviously people in my group were talking about it of course they were and they were giving their opinions on how they were treated etc okay so that had like and people are entitled to, to their opinions and i'm not going to moderate that for that other company they highly moderate their own page as it is i wasn't going to be doing the same thing right now in fairness after the first couple of days we did actually delete a lot of the comments and we did say to the membership look we're here we want to move on Let's just get on with what we've set up here, which is a, a really helpful group for anybody, no matter whether you're slimming world, calorie deficit, weight watchers, whatever. We've got people from everyone, from everywhere in there, okay? Um, yeah, people misconstrued the, the status. Yeah, exactly. I didn't mention domestic abuse, whatever. And I know uh, the, the male online coach even mentioned that on the video as well. It wasn't said, guys, so totally unfair, right? But... Um, obviously, I was told after that by someone who was in the office that my video, that video that they recorded, was played to the full office. And um, that is not just that online coaching group. There's a warehouse, there's customers coming in and out, and there's the other company there, right? So he actually walked out of his office and heard my, my voice at like loud levels, right? Obviously, they watched the whole thing me crying my eyes out and I tell you I was gutted like literally gutted and I'm going to try not to get upset here um but just to think that all those people sat around and watched that um and they thought that was all right that is absolutely below the belt completely um so yeah, I was really 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 upset with that. Now, the minute that they actually took you businesses can record video they are meant to tell you if they're if they're recording your audio they have to tell you you're being recorded but the minute they play it to a third party that is liable it's liable and get your solicitors uh, guys to check that out because that's what you'll be getting com communications about it's liable um and totally like just just totally unfair guys totally unfair um yeah i was totally distraught exactly um I was, yeah, gutted that, um, like, obviously, I had been in that group since July 2017. I screamed that company's name from the absolute rooftops because they totally changed my life. I trusted those two people. And for them to use my personal, private, confidential data like that, absolutely, like, nah, nah. So... That's why I don't recommend, like I recommend the plan. I just don't recommend the person who runs it anymore because you expect when you interact with a business, you expect your, your data and your, your, your confidential interactions with that company to remain confidential and private. And for that to actually be play, played in public, not even just the office, but to like, 30 odd people and there would be more depending on how many people he could have got into that group absolutely disgraceful and he lied because i was out of contract i was not in contract because he'd asked me to leave there is issues with the contract but i won't go into those um but there is actually uh issues with with the contracts as well um but that said right my concerns for anybody that's there at the moment right you need to make sure that your data and your private, your private interactions with that, your weight, all the, the data that you're sending up through that app is kept private. 
You want to make sure that any messages that you have back and forth between coaches or admins are remain, remain secret and private, which unfortunately in my case, they didn't. On another occasion, I was told that um, an admin had listened to some of the messages between myself and the male um, online coach and brought that back to a WhatsApp uh, group with other affiliates and admins in there and told them the contents of that or some supposed contents of it, right? Data breaches all over the shop, guys. Absolutely, right? Um, yeah, so I personally would want my data kept, uh, kept private. Okay, secondly, on that... Um, in, in, on the live video there, the, the coach was saying that, you know, he tells it the way it is and some people can't take it and that's cool. I would expect someone who can give it to be able to take it, right? And myself and that guy have had several kind of run-ins and I've literally been given, and they've basically been about um, how other affiliates were being treated. Um, I, for one, do not like being sat there watching grown women in their 30s and 40s crying their eyes out over how they were spoken to in in like because videos would be done in the elite group to the group right so if he was giving someone a telling off everyone else had to watch it no need for that and what i said to him was if you have a problem with somebody deal with them with that privately don't do it in front of the 35 other people that are in there do it with them privately right um, and I've had that conversation a couple of times with him now. All right. Now, even the other day when he did that live, he was talking, he referred to a pregnant lady who was smoking and drinking. Now, again, right. Put aside your thoughts of whether she was smoking or drinking. That's none of our business. It's none of your business. Right. It's between her and that coach. Right. He should not be speaking about anybody, anybody, past me members, present members, past affiliates, present affiliates. None of it should be discussed in a public forum. Absolutely no, like there's no excuse for it because that person, can you imagine if that person was watching, regardless of what you think about her, if that lady was watching, she would have been felt like that big reading some of the comments that people were leaving about that. It doesn't matter what any member does. It's not his he can't, it's not up to him to give us his opinion in a public forum on it. It should remain private, guys. Um, yeah, so what else? Yeah, so yeah, I was just giving him honest feedback about um, any of the run-ins that I had with him, but he, he can't take it, right? And constant mood swings and fucking whatever else. I, I don't know how anybody works with him. Like two of the employees have left. We've spoken to or I've, I've seen messages from um, another ex-related employee, same thing, right? Um, and I don't, like I have stood up for, for some of the people in there, okay? Um, and who remain in there and that's totally their choice, right? They, they have uh, an opportunity to make an earning and that's completely up to them, right? Um, and that's cool and it's their decision and it's absolutely fine, right? But personally, I am not okay with how things were dealt with in a public way. Um, yeah. Um, what I didn't like was just, it, it, and even that, 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 that live was total, it was just like literally picking up a pile of mud and throwing it at a group of people, ex-members, ex-affiliates, and the abuse, the abuse in the comments, and like that I got in uh, private messages and, and everything afterwards. And I'm telling you, it has taken me like all myself, like just to stay quiet and let myself calm down for the last couple of days, reading all of that crap that people were saying, right? There is absolutely no need for any of this, right? I had left, they should have just left it. But no, cease and desist letter when I was out of contract, right? So to reiterate, I was, they asked me to leave. I was not in contract. Therefore, I can post what the hell I like on my page, whether it's my protein drops, which he uses himself, by the way. Um, he lied about the other company going for legal action. It was all them. They totally lied on that call. Um, and yeah, it's just totally uncalled for. It could have just been, yeah, and there's Peter now, okay? Um, Peter has been 
absolutely amazing because when this came out um everyone had the same reaction oh you're just jealous you didn't make it and all the rest i'm actually do you know what i'm so glad i didn't make it because as i said there was like he had promised um the online coach was like look we'll take you on as like our marketer and, and whatever because i had done some courses in, in marketing whatever right if i had given up my really well-paid job and and took that carrot that's always been dangled right about oh, we look after you we look after you i would have now have lost my house um like it they're playing with people's lives here and i know there's there's people in there dependent on the money and all the rest of it i i just i honestly i just couldn't take it anymore okay peter is amazing amazing he stood up for he stood up for me um and it's only when he came out and actually started telling people what was going on then people started to believe because up to then i was just a jealous bitch right and that's that's all it was total yeah so um pete has added some credibility because it's not just me saying it as like a disgruntled ex um, like and what not not an employee just like a member and an affiliate um yeah um yeah peter put in like he's just amazing he's an amazing coach um he's worked there from day one absolutely amazing most like relaxed calming person that you could ever meet um but literally when he told me that they played my video like i was gutted that all the people in that office watched that whole thing um absolutely gutted <clears throat> so yeah all i just say to you is, is everyone's entitled to their opinion okay it's not there's always two sides to the story and the lying um to me and to you guys and being told members that ex-members being called mentally unstable you know on drugs drunk etc not cool guys that is not cool to even throw that at a load generalized people and if it's aimed at one or two you shouldn't be sharing that publicly because that is private information between you and that person okay um yeah okay so yeah the plan right absolutely works and i'll still say it it's made me i've lost three stone with it it's absolutely amazing right um just some things are not done professionally and um major major gdpr and data issues there which are completely against the law um and i suggest that those people get it addressed because you, you have a great business like you have a great plan and you could be you could have been like 10 times the size of jane smith by now right absolutely if you just just do it properly do you know what i mean just don't don't be shafting people because they don't agree with how how you run things or whatever um yeah okay guys i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it there oh sorry just to say there was two people then um izzy mon was um he said on that that you know, he called her a bitch so first thing like guys online professional person would you see other online fitness coaches calling members bitches and motherfuckers no you wouldn't right so sorry but uh that just total unprofessionalism no i'm not going to delete i'm not going to delete it i'm going to leave this up because um i i've just i've had it now and all all the people who have come forward and said that they were too afraid to even ask a question in the coaching group because they might get a talking down to or whatever there is and there is truth in what he says in that some people need a kick up the arse right and they'll need to be told the truth but that's a small number of people right or it might be a large number of people but not all people respond in that way okay not all of us need someone fucking you better fucking pull the finger out or whatever else right some of us need positive encouragement hey you know what come here let me have a look at your data what can we do which is what pete would deal with it in a much more positive way right he's not going to be doing you a video or whatever telling you to fucking pull your finger out um so yes i do disagree with how it is dealt with um i don't think everybody needs to be kicked up the arse in a negative way i think there are other positive methods for doing it but that's only what you learn through managing people 
in like professional environment you only learn that because there are certain things that you literally cannot do HR wise right you just wouldn't be allowed to do them um so yeah I'm gonna leave it there um Izzy by the way just you know is not an admin of my group her partner Sharon is so that was just another miss fact that was um named there guys um yeah and they're they're both lovely so um yeah that's it guys peter is doing his group and it's starting up in the next couple of days um and he is going to be doing calorie deficit for free for now and um, he will obviously have to start charging at some stage in the future but he feels that he needs to right some of the wrongs that he did so that's what or not that he did but that were done um and that he just wants to help people so he walked out of that job with a mortgage and he's no wages coming in and yet he's going to devote his next like couple of months to helping people now if that's not a genuine person i don't know what is and that's who i'm going to be giving my support to rather than the other person okay talk to you later guys bye